Florida Polytechnic University in Lakeland are now working to take self-driving cars into the fast lane. And today, ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler took a spin with the cutting edge tech technology that the students are developing at Florida Polytech. Technically, it's first test run. Professor A.J. Al Nasser is turning this tricked out Ford Fusion by moving his head. No hands needed. To our knowledge, nothing has been done like this for any car. A camera on the dashboard is set to read his face. So it's kind of like how your smartphone works with gesture control. Uh, and it's meant to like be a solution for disabilities. Uh, I personally have a friend with a disability and I know this solution like this would, made, would have made his life a whole lot easier. Al Nasser and fellow professor Anur Taker at Florida Polytechnic University in Lakeland are part of a team that used a grant to buy this $100,000 car with some very special upgrades. They're using it to develop their own autonomous driving software and the ability to test other self-driving systems. By getting the information from the camera and other sensors, a computer software can do some uh, AI-based decision-making and control the steering, brakes, acceleration. While Tesla and other car makers have versions of self-driving cars already on the road, the work here is to reach new heights. When you get to a level five autonomy in a car, you shouldn't really need a steering wheel. You shouldn't have any controls. The drivers wouldn't have any controls. The car will control itself. The professors say the number of automotive crashes that could be prevented by autonomous technology is motivating the industry to move fast. I think it will take some time, but it will eventually uh, be a standard. Uh, there are legal issues, ethical issues, technical issues. They should be addressed carefully, but uh, eventually we are going into that direction. Yes, yeah. It's a safer driving experience. It's safe for everybody. And uh, it will change how, th how things are and but I think for the better. Students are helping with the research too. It's all in the very early stages, no highway driving yet, and the car is moving at very slow speeds, but the progress is moving quickly. In Lakeland, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.